Hi, my name is Chris, I'm from Spy Camera CCTV, and today we're going to look at our, our transmitter kits, our analog and our digital packs, differences between them, um, how they go together roughly, and uh, also what you get in the box. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. So we use these transmitters and receivers uh, basically in lots of different locations where it's really difficult to run a cable. Um, even though we sell a lot of wireless equipment, we would always recommend where possible to run a cable. However, when it's not possible to run a cable, these little things come in really useful. Uh, so we've got a variety of different transmitters and receivers. Um, we normally sell a lot to the sort of farming community. So on farms, you've got cameras that need to go in barns and bridge quite a distance. Um, they're quite good uh, in big factories, big houses. Um, but as I say, if you can run a cable, you then please do, but where you can't, these come in really handy. So we've got, uh, first of all, we've got our analog transmitter and receiver. I'll go through those in a moment. And then we've got our tran a digital transmitter and receiver. And again, I'll tell you the differences between those in a minute. Um, so these come out of the box. Also, it's the same, you get everything's pretty much the same with these. You get a set of instructions, um, you get a power adapter for the transmitter power adapter for the receiver. Again, same for all of the packs that I'm about to show you. And you also get um, an AV cable, so if you can see that there. These will send uh, audio, video, uh, and also audio in stereo, so you've got left and right audio and video. And we predominantly use them for the video, and you'll get an adapter so that you can connect it to your recorder. Okay, so that's your cable. And finally, you also get a little aerial with this, okay, and that helps you to connect those. Uh, helps to get the power on those and for the distance, the wireless distance. So, so as I say, that you you generally get the same sort of equipment in both. Where we would recommend these, these analog ones, um, uh, the technology has now moved on to digital, but we still stock these uh, analog systems because. Um, they're not quite as powerful, so they will send the signal up to about 70 meters uh, with their standard area, which is this one. Um, or if you take one of our high gain aerials, uh, if you can see that one there, that just screws straight on instead, and that gives you a bit more gain. It will send you up to about 150 meters. Okay, so you get a bit more out of them with that. Um, but basically, the reason we've kept these on is the transmitter can be received by multiple receivers. So you could have three receivers receiving the one image from the transmitter. Um, they come with a number of channels. Uh, we'll actually take up to eight channels, although we don't recommend using more than four of those channels, otherwise you get crossover. Um, but what these are, uh, the, the main difference is these are susceptible to interference if there is lots of Wi-Fi in the area. So um, if you are in a high Wi-Fi area, um, lots of wireless internet, then you know, you'll know you find that one or two of these will work, but once you start putting more in, you're more susceptible to interference. Which brings us on to the next ones. These digital ones are less susceptible to that issue. Um, these actually pair up. They're very much like your Wi-Fi router. They will pair with each other. And so once you fix them, they will only receive the image from the transmitter. Um, now that's an advantage, it's also encoded, it's encrypted, so no one can hack into that signal. So once you've got that, it's a secure line. These will also do 150 meters on their own with a standard aerial. You stick on a second aerial, you'll get about 300. And if you uh, pop on a third one, you can get a bit more out of them. Um, so these are great for slightly longer distances. Um, Apart from that, we've also got one really helpful feature on here is an infrared sender. Now what that allows you to do, and I'll just show you that, that's, I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but basically you get, you can point your remote control for, the, uh, for a recorder at this little sender and it will send it between the two receiver and transmitter packs. So if you wanted to have a recorder at a distance of 150 meters away, you could sit next to your uh, receiver and you can control the recorder that is 150 meters away um, so if you're or a television or anything like that you can you can control it so it's a really useful additional function to these transmitters um, apart from that they as I say they're the same but we, we sell a lot more of these because of the the, the uh, reduction in interference that we get I was going to show you a couple more because we do have one more slightly more advanced model um, where did I have that one 
and we also have one that will control a pan tilt zoom camera I won't show you everything in here but in addition uh, you've got an, uh, an RS485 connection for the controls for a pan tilt zoom camera so um, it, again if you've got a wireless uh, you've got a pan tilt zoom at 150 meters you can run the telemetry um, the video and audio if you've got it okay so that's how that one works again same digital technology so that they pair up together and um, you know very very little uh, problems with interference and that sort of thing and then finally in our range of wireless wireless transmitters we've got this beast uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, and this is a waterproof one. So again, this one controls your pan tilt zoom camera as well. Um, but it's entirely waterproof. So rather than having to get this in waterproof housing, it's already in an IP66 rated box. So I hope you found that helpful. I uh, hope you understand a bit more about how these packs go together. Uh, if you need any more assistance, of course, give us a ring on our number, which is on the screen, uh, or email us info at spycameraCCTV.com. Thanks for watching.